Hey everyone, and welcome back to Unreal. So in today's video, I saw three things on eBay I'm going to share with you from Friday and Saturday. Uh, so the 8.34 p.m. So here we go. The first is a vintage 47 Arizona Dimebag set by Cat Rare. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping on this and sale for this listed for $29.99 plus shipping. I had it took an off. I listed for $26.99 for shipping on the sale. And I took an offer of $16.99 plus shipping. This is from the garage sale where I bought some hats. So I bought hats for a dollar. I bought some Xbox 360 games for a dollar. I bought some Wii games for 50 cents. And some C's for 25 cents. I bought like 24 tape DVDs. It's missing one disc for like a buck or two. I bought seal. Four seasons of Honor Seal. Two through five were sealed individually for two bucks a piece, and then and then season one was unsealed for two dollars. And I've made 20, 29 bucks for it all. Everything. And then I'm way in the profit. I'm already like 125 bucks in profit. And it's been like a month and a half since I went to seal. So I'm just glad to see this go. Um even though I'm not gonna make as much as I thought I would on this, I'm just glad to see it go. Because I've had it hanging around for a month and a half. And I don't want to be like a storage unit where I'm going to say, oh, try to get my top dollar price. Say, try to get, um, you know, try to be a stickler and say, I'll sell it to you for $22.99 or $23.99. Like, counter up and then go back and forth. Because the person may not take it. Yeah, you may, you may get a little more. You might. But you might not, you know. And then if it sits for a couple months, you know, more. You know, so that's a pretty clean hat, but but it does have a stained sun somewhere in the area on the hat. I don't, I don't know if I can find it. Yeah, that's where the stain is, or a little bit of where is. But otherwise, it's a really good shape. And I'm gonna make about fifteen dollar profit on that for my cost of my fees and my cost of shipping, right? Whatever you charge me, which is about, like four bucks, or about, it's about fifteen to fifteen fifty profit. So this is a vintage eighty seven, but a pretty dope salt shaker. I sold this for two ninety nine plus shipping. So if someone had this on this for or exact same one, just the salt shaker only, and. I got this for free from someone. I went to a flea market and they play we we was selling a bunch of salt and pepper shakers. And this had two Pillsbury Doughboy so threw in an extra Pillsbury Doughboy salt shaker. Had a spare one laying around. And it was incomplete set. It was the the pep the cupcake. It was a pepper shaker, but it was for a different Pillsbury set, Pillsbury salt and pepper shaker set. And then um the doughboy. Well, it was this exact one, but it was for a different um set from 1987, and this uh, cupcake was from two. They, they were from two different sets, but she mismatched them together. Yeah, some as one set, you know, to make you can make one set using two using like two incomplete sets to make one complete set. That's not supposed to go together, but. I'm not going to make much in this. I'm going to make about a $3 profit on this. Exactly what I thought I would, but it's my cost of fees and ship good fees. Cost my, um, cost good, which is nothing free in cost shipping. So, about $3, I'd say. So, not a lot, but it is what it is. I'm just glad that we get rid of it. And it did sell via promoter listing. So, I've been selling a lot via promoter listing, even though it's best offer. <laughs> this I sold for. This I've had listed for about, I'd say about a month, a little over a month. You know, close probably about month, month and a half. I'd say at least at least a month on the, these. This is a lot of twenty recipe booklets, cookbook pamphlets, big cracker, fate recipes, miscellaneous. These sold for nine dollars plus shipping. Plus six thirty four shipping, and after fees, my cost of shipping, I'm gonna make between six to seven dollars profit on this. You know, because I'm I'm 
this this lot puts me in the profit on that um by I bought um for four dollars plus um four forty plus tax plus five and a half percent sales tax which is like for like sixty something I bought um a bunch of cook book pamphlets and I sold one lot um for like a few bucks plus shipping and I sold like a cheap lot for like a dollar forty nine plus shipping bundled with like that um book bundled with like a book it was like two fifty nine like free ship or something like that. I think it was like the three dollar set or something like that. It was like really low value. Um, these lots. And I made. Up. And then I had these for listed for twelve ninety nine. Plus shipping, and then I just went down to like nine ninety nine plus shipping on, on other ones. So. You no, know, I, got only ninety nine cents less than you know I had, you know ones that went down to like fifty cent a piece on the other ones. You now for twenty of them. I believe I did so. So it's a little less than fifty cents a piece, but it's not bad though. You know, I don't want to be like I said before. I don't want to be a storage unit. Hold this stuff forever. Like I could say, try to get, t say a say eleven, say count in the middle. Say, I'll do eleven. Maybe they'll take it. Maybe they won't. But then if I don't, I have like four watches on this. But even so, if I send this for like four or five, I've had stuff with like seven eight watches. I've had some for like five six months. You know, so I mean, I don't want to like sell this to be a storage unit. I want to move it. You know, I want to be able to move stuff because if I get new inventory in, in the flip flip online, I don't. I want to move it in, move the inventory in, and move it out. You know what I mean? So. So yeah. So. Till next time, everybody. Please take care, everyone. And I didn't get new inventory flip online at my local um, thrift store. My local thrift store is moving. Because they're um because right there is there's a corporate store right next corporate family dollar. Then there's a corporate snap fitness. You know, and though and if you have the corp and there's a corporate DM there's a state of Wisconsin DMV in there. And then there's like an Auto Valley, which is a corporate Alport chain. Alport store chain. And then there's a chiropractor in there. In there and there's like a little restaurant there a little restaurant and um the chiropractor in there but those are the only two buildings that aren't corporate um if you if you get paid by the state of wisconsin they'll pay you anything for rent you know you're pretty much guaranteed rent there same with family dollar um they're guaranteed to um you know you're guaranteed to um make the rent you're guaranteed to get paid for rent as long as they're making enough money to just, as long as the stores bring enough revenue to justify, um, you know, keeping the, you know, after heat, keeping heat, electricity, um, you're not really paying a water bill, because you're not really running water except for, like flush and toilets for a customer, there's in like the workers, you know, you're paying heat, electricity, you know. And then you, and then, you know, how much profit that store's making? If it, you can justify, if that store can justify making enough profit after paying the rent, paying heat electricity, then it'll stay open for good. Because, I mean, that family dollar is the only local, only store we have for, like, stuff. Unless you want to go to a grocery store and be, like, instead of, say, buying a lot of soap for, like, five bucks, for, like, 20 bucks, for, like, 15 bucks for the same stuff you can get, like, Family dollar for like nine, even though that family dollar is like kind of pricey. And that family dollar, in that family dollar, they're going to, um, instead of the building where our local thrift is going to be, it's going to be, um, um, a Dollar Tree. And where it's the half family dollar, half Dollar Tree, where all the Dollar Trees they don't have on the family dollar sign, they're going to, um, bring over. Put them on the Dollar Tree sign. You know, there's another, there's a wall there. Either and have, there's two separate doors right there. So one door is going to be for them, the family dollar sign. One door is going to be for the Dollar Tree sign. And they might, there might be a separate, there's a wall there. You know, where um, shampoos, stuff are sitting on the one side. You know, but they might have it where that wall, 
separates the family dollar and dollar tree sites and leave it that way. Or they might have it where they take down that wall. But I don't know how they're going to take down the wall if the shampoo's there. And, you know, maybe make, take that, down that wall. And maybe make it, you know, so we can, like, you know, maybe go through them. Um, there might be a little area there. You know, or you might have to go through the door to go to the family dollar and dollar tree side. Each, each, each side. They might run as, like, two separate stores, you know. Or they might run it as, like, you know, where you pay in on the family dollar side, but you can bring your car over to the Dollar Tree side. I don't know how that's going to work, but that would be kind of interesting. I might have to film it. Film, film it there. Um, half family dollar, half Dollar Tree. But my local thrift is not closing down. All they're doing is they're um, moving to um, a different location in town, town here. Um, because they're, they're right, the rent's like really high. And stuff like that. And then and they have so much stuff in this store. They're trying to do like 50% off on like clothing. Like, like books. And stuff like that. And they're giving away like stuff like free VHS. Like DVDs were a night. Now they're 99 cent. Like stuff is. Like stuff that was like really, really hot. That people would pay like. You know instead of like they look it up. Say eBay price. Say eBay price was selling something to sell for 100. It's sell for like a third. Say this is going to sell on eBay for a hundred dollars plus shipping. You know they could they try to sell for fifty to like thirty to like fifty dollars at their store. You know, like the discounts have like half price or like third of the price. You know, like thirty dollars. So it's pretty re so it's more reasonable. You know, for um they're still making a decent profit, but they they were making good profits. But now some of the stuff they're even selling like precious moments experience. They were getting really big money from. Now they just liquidate a bunch of them for like a dollar. In their VHS section, they're like liquidating a bunch of VHS. They take all the VHS you want, you know. We're not we're not taking in any more VHS tapes or certain things we're not taking in anymore. So all this stuff is gonna be liquidated down. And they have and this guy owns a storage unit. So the storage unit the guy owns, he has like a ton of stuff right there. And then one store is gonna be used as like a seasonal store. And search gonna be used in as just like a place to like look at inventory and have like a fifty percent maybe eventually the person have like a fifty percent off sale or so much percent off sale. You just liquidate stuff trying to move it. You know, don't want to move as much stuff to the new store. Which I can understand. Like I I did pick up some stuff for resale on eBay. Um I will share that with you. Um I picked up for resale purposes. Um, so, spoiler, I did pick up some glassware on eBay, for eBay, and a lot of it's just plain generic glassware, but there is some fancier, um, like, drinking glasses that have, like, logos on it or something like that, but I picked them up, so, I picked them up to flip online, so, I don't know how long they'll take to sell, but I know they'll eventually sell, you know, during, like, Christmas time, or, or now, because people, you know, that, or, you know, Eventually sell then. You know if they need to sell. So just pretty so I'm gonna get them listed um tomorrow or um probably tomorrow I'll probably list them. You know, probably list them tomorrow, so get them get rid get them listed. Probably do a little haul on them on um tomorrow. You know, probably um probably um list them. Probably two or I'll probably just do my packing on tomorrow and then List, list them afterwards after I pack pack up some stuff and stuff, you know. Let's see. I only got a few little small things, but yeah, it's better than nothing. I didn't pay much either. I paid, I think I paid for everything combined, I paid like four or five bucks at most. So it's pretty reasonable. So. And and I already looked this stuff up. Kind of get estimated value on this stuff. So I'm going to make so. Talk time. Take care of it.